Привет, как дела, товарищки? Сегодня у меня есть четыре хорошо компакт диск из Украины. Хорошо metal. And uh, that's my pathetic attempt at Russian. And uh, yeah, this is a Ukrainian band and I don't speak Ukrainian in case you're wondering. As close as I can get is just uh, really horrible Russian. And uh, But uh, it's funny is when I'm in Ukraine, oh well, maybe I'll go back later if, you know, if it's God's will maybe. But uh, yeah, I, I've been in Ukraine five times. I still do not know one word of Ukrainian because the places I went, they spoke Russian. They were comfortable with Russian. So I go, well, like uh, Odessa. That's uh, I'll t maybe talk about that place later. And this is an awesome Ukrainian band. Usually, you know, because um, I collect a lot of music, and so you know, in my case, you know, CDs tend to get old real quick. And, and um, okay, I got it. Okay, I heard it a few times. Yeah, it's good, and I followed away. But I mean, this is one of those few bands where I mean, I really. I mean, really do love the music, and I really do rave over the music. Uh, and uh, I mean, Eastern Europe. I mean, as far as like metal music go, they've really come a long way, and um, and they've definitely got their own sound. These these um, yeah, this band, you know, Holy Blood. They sound like Holy Blood. You can't. Oh, they sound like this band or that band. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of similar style bands that. Uh, you know, you can kind of, it would come to mind, but, uh, I mean, they definitely got their own, or they had their own. I believe they broke up, and, uh, it's, uh, and I guess, uh, some of the members from that band formed Oscort, and, uh, which I talked about in another video, so look that up. I mean, uh, you know, what more can I say? It's, uh, again, you know, they are, uh, very seemingly bold about their faith. They sing in their native language, but uh, these were released in North America on Bombworks Records. So, uh, um, when you get the CDs here, they have they have the lyrics and are printed in English, and the song titles are printed in English. But I, I believe if it was in their own native country or in Russia, it would be in Cyrillic text, which is actually easy to learn how to read. Believe it or not. This is their first one, The Wanderer. Kind of looks like a one of those pagan forest metal bands, but uh, all in all, very good uh, forest. And um, Eastern Europe has very beautiful forests, like Scandinavia. Um, this is their first one, you know, good music. Good music, and there's a group, a very Slavic looking bunch. And I believe uh, she's married to the guitarist. And if any of my Ukrainian friends are watching this, you know, if I say anything, um, you know, in not correct or um, wrong about uh, Holy Bud, pl please uh, correct me in the comments below. And, and like I said, I'm just a music fan running his mouth on the for the camera. And uh, yeah, I mean, just I love this. I love this album. I, I, actually, all the albums are really good. Waves are dancing. Their second one. It has a video clip. The spring. Uh, in fact, the rest of these albums they have the video clip. And the song Patriot is. I, I think the song Patriot is on here. No. No, it's um, no, it's not. Oops. Anyway, shows how much I know. And uh, this is their third one, Patriot, Patriot, Хорошо Patriot is Kiev. Okay, um, again, you know, a little, again, as I said before, the songs are in English. I like that little, uh, you know, I, I can read Cyrillic, so it's uh, Karpoti, Pivnich, Pivnich, Kiev. Smotrich, Smotrich, Shota, Shota. Ah, and uh, I like the uh, 
and you know, and of course you know things from the old Orthodox Church and the, the Eastern uh, iconography from the Eastern churches uh, you can find in the in the uh, layout booklet layout of this a really good uh, yeah the most of circa fu ukraino chimpri cross no so um again no very slavic a lot of folk melodies and of course you know there's some like there's harsh vocals there's a lot of flutes uh, you know traditional wind instruments uh real traditional uh, i guess slavic melodies and slavic folk um, style like uh, I guess you call it Slavic folk music, kind of like the way in Scandinavia that the in they incorporated you know the old folk sound and you know mixed it with the metal and you know came out with something real good. It's pretty much what they've done with their own local culture, and of course you know their belief too in in Christ and. I mean that's what a lot of European bands are doing these days. You know, they're they're taking aspects from their own you know local culture and their own local ethnic influences, and then they they mix it in, into into you know metal, and and uh, that's how you have the big boom of folk metal now. And and this is probably one of the best in that category. You know, Christian or non-Christian, I think they definitely blow a lot of the you know latecomer bands away, or, or they would have, but you know they broke up. But I believe the current incarnation of this band is uh, Oscord, which you know, I got their EP. Again, I reviewed it. You know, look that up in my videos or look up. So, you know, um, I mean, what more can I say? I think Righteous Rock Show should definitely do an interview with these guys. So, hey, Righteous Rock Show guys, if you're watching this, you got to contact these guys. You know, you know, maybe when I'm in Panama, if, uh, maybe me and my friends can... I mean, one project I've always wanted to do was bring a band from Europe, you know, to Panama. So, you know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe we can buy <laughs> plane tickets and something. I don't know, but I would. This is a band I definitely love to see live. And you know, if I'm ever back in Ukraine and and uh, you know, if any of these members' bands are playing a gig, I mean, I'm definitely gonna try to check it out. Um, <clears throat> I think the Ukrainian bands they like. Um, I think they have more success outside their own country than they do locally. Because, uh, I mean, when I when I was in Ukraine, like in Odessa, in uh, Dnipropetrovsk or something, yeah, it's like a lot of the people like that. You know, that real uh, Russian Russian pop, Russian dance pop, or you, you know, the uh, you know Ukrainian Euro pop type of thing, like, Ruslana, but this is metal. Again, now this, and I believe this is their last one, Shining Sun. And uh, I wanted to, I really wanted to do a, a, a video on this band for a while, but and I was waiting, I was waiting for this to come in the mail because, uh, um, because I wanted to show, you know, the all four albums. I believe that this is all four albums. Holy Blood, Patriots. And uh, this is their last one again. The video, all these. Uh, I mean, I love the en enhanced DVDs because it gives you just a, you know just a little more to look at. You know, with uh, definitely look up Holy Blood online. And uh, yeah, if any band from overseas deserves to you know play it at uh, Sanct Bob Fest or you know these Christian festivals around Europe or. Uh, I mean, it would be cool if they came to the States, like Arcona, but Arcona is a pagan band. This is a Christ proclaiming band. Anyway, uh, thanks for uh, watching Joe's Record Store. Menyo Ravica, Harasho Metal is Ukraina. Okay, uh, rock on, stay metal. Thanks for watching Joe's Record Store. Balshaya Spasiba.